um, the Halle Berry, uh, DDG, and Ruby Rose. But I'm going to be honest with you. You know, sometimes, you know, somebody hit me up, a couple people, and they were like, yo, act. Do you know you're the greatest of all time when it comes to the streaming shit, when it comes to hip-hop? And, 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 you know, I'm very uncomfortable when people give me my flowers. I like to snatch my flowers. I don't like when people give me. I'm bad with compliments. So I'm like, whatever. They were like, yo, bro, I can't believe what the stream. So really, I'm going to react to my own fuck. Because in the moment, I was a little bit like, I don't really know. So anyway, I had Adam22, Big Act, came on the other night. And um, I'm I'm really gonna get to the, the uh, important <laughs> parts of this shit because this shit was a little bit, it, this shit was mind boggling a little bit. I'm gonna react to it a little bit, and um, thank you. And then um, we got a bunch of other stuff to do. The phone, a couple. Of th oh, yeah, so so Adam had hit me. I had interviewed with security. He said, "Yo, bro, I just call in." He called in, and um, he was pretty straightforward with everything. You know, what I mean. Also, here's the thing too, you know. I can't knock a nigga who's just telling the truth, right? Here we go. Of like, oh, Adam is like pissed off about Lena and House Phone having this history or whatever. Because I understand that to most people that would be like a really big deal. But all I'm gonna say is like everything I ever did with House Phone on camera, pretty much besides like you know the first year of podcasts on the channel was after all this. So it's like you know I, I've been on tour with him. I've like you know I've, I've done a million different things with this. Let's get to the fuckery. But like if you were in the same situation, yeah, I'm sure at some point you would just kind of like like we never had a conversation about like, yo, don't bring that up. But it where is it in the clip? I'm trying to figure out to hear that. You know, what I mean, obviously, you know, took him on tour a bunch of times. All I'm, I'm, I'm guessing flexion. So I haven't really got a chance to talk to him too much uh, since then. So, I mean, give me the timestamp. Yo, yo, Grant, give me the timestamp. Wait, did I lose connection? No, I lost connection, didn't I? Oh, I lost connection or some shit like that. What's going on? Yo, we're going to get to Charleston White in a second, man. I, I need a timestamp for y'all. Grant, give me a timestamp when you can. I'm not trying to listen to this whole thing. Give me the timestamp when my man Adam directly talks about what's going on with Hal's phone and his shorty. Um, I need, I need the timestamp immediately. Okay. Oh, we're good. All right, bet. I'm back. Oh, okay, bet. What's the timestamp? Oh, my connection is unstable. This might be Twitch. I was watching another streamer today, and, and the shit was happening again. I mean, let me try to flick through it. Once, and then the, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Felt awkward about mm -hmm. against us, as if it's like this super big deal. So I'm gonna give you the timeline from back in the day. All right. So I meet Lena. We go on, or we hang out like two times, and then after that, we didn't see each other for like a couple months. And then the, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You can't skip past it. Did you have sex when y'all met those two times? Yes. Okay, cool. So we hang out a couple times, and this is like way back in the day, dude. This is like 2016 when we were still downtown. Okay. And then, so, but she met House Phone like through me because like even like the first time we hung out, House Phone just happened to be there, right? Mm -hmm. And so me and her are like having nothing to do with each other after that. Like, and then he hangs out with her like a couple months later and they end up sleeping together. And then... A couple, maybe even like a couple weeks or like a month after that, me and her hang out again. And then from there, we start hanging out more and more. And that kind of like eventually turns us into us dating. So, I mean, I just wanted to put that out there because to be honest, it was never even like an awkward thing with me and house phone. Like, I mean, to be fair, like this was way before I ever even like had him working for No Jumper. Like he had been on a few podcasts and shit. But, like, this was way before, like, I put him on the No Jumper show and, like, you know, took him on tour a bunch of times. All that shit was after this. And, obviously, I knew about it. And I started dating Lena and, like, you know, fell in love with her and and it, uh, proposed to her and everything. So, I mean, it's just kind of like, I just wanted to 
air it out and just throw it out there because I'm sick of seeing people like I ain't gonna lie, they were starting to hold it over your head a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. What you say? Well, they were trying to hold it over your head because the amount of people who sent it to me and the way everybody's like, it's kind of feel like it's a thing where like everybody's giggling about it and maybe you're not in on the joke. Okay. All right. Now, as I said, me and Adam, we got to, uh, you know, you, you know, everybody always be like, is act trying to take no jumper down? Does he secretly hate Adam? Is he jealous? Are they beefing? Did he tell him ax to grind? No. You should know it's a no because it's no fucking way on earth a nigga could ever say this to me and I don't fry that nigga for the next four years straight. I mean, every fucking day, gang. But I won't. This, this is, to me, is water under the bridge. You know what I mean? And I understand about it. I actually salute him for actually um, acknowledging this. But I like I seen people like sending me all type of theories because apparently the last time I was on No Jumper, which has been a while, uh, academics, no jumper. When was I on there? I was on there. Oh, right here. Damn, uh, apparently, I brought it up. So I showed up late with Boom. Salute to Boom right here. <laughs> and I brought it up. Let me see. I know the comments is going to bring it up. Let me see. The comments is probably going to be like, uh, okay, yeah, never mind. Niggas ain't catch on to it yet. Apparently, in the, apparently, while I'm here, I made a joke to say, Yo, Adam, would you ever let the house phone fuck your girl? Now, I promise you, I never knew none of this happened. Like, I really, nigga, they probably guarded this shit like a state secret, my nigga. Like, you letting a nigga like me know this type of shit, bro? Like, it's like radioactive, my nigga. It's like literally, my nigga, it's like literally giving Donald Trump the nuke button and it's right next to the tweet button. Like, of course he's going to fucking press it. Like, bro, of course I had no idea about this type of shit. Somebody said this is less fat act, but still fat. <laughs> uh, what was this? What year was this? Uh, October 21st, uh, October 19th. Uh, okay, okay. All right, cool. Let me see if I can see. Oh, no, 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 no. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all give me the timestamp. I don't want to keep watching this over again. Uh, let me just give my, like, if I get the timestamp, I'll play it. I, I guess in totality, I just want to say, you know, because I don't, I don't know if I reacted to it because we definitely went to the Super Bowl shit. Um, Two things. I don't care if Adam's the biggest cuck in the world. By the way, also, here's the thing. Adam also does porn. So it's like, it's like one of those things. Remember when I was saying about Freddie Gibbs' girl? I'm like, well, he dated a girl who's doing porn. Like, like we're in an age where you can't even shame a nigga. Like, once they, once they cognizantly choose to date a girl who's doing porn, like, bro, they, they're shaming themselves already. So, like, how could you shame them? So... Even if Adam's the biggest cuck, I will say this, and this is why I'm not clowning him too. The same way, and by the way, y'all could call it and y'all could spam if y'all think this is soft act, because you know, act a couple years ago is ruthless. And I'm still ruthless, but I do understand that there's a little growth. And oh, my bad, chat. And, oh, hold on, not- wait, my bad, my bad, chat, my bad, my bad. Shit, what the fuck? Okay. Now, the same way how, you know, hearing about house phone fucking a dude, right? I looked at it differently rather than just clowning him. By the way, I, I don't have no issues with him anyway. Um, it's the same way with this thing when it comes to Adam and um, house phone with his wife. Um, if Adam could get over it, I don't care, right? Because I ain't got no issues with him. But I will also say, truth be told, I don't care if y'all think Adam's the big, biggest cuck in the world. And this is why I'm going to also give him the respect of not really dwelling on it because we cool. Bro, everybody cares. I don't care what nobody tells you this. Everybody cares. It's impossible. It's impossible, my nigga, for you to say you don't care that your employee punched dick and donkey fucked your girl. Impossible. Impossible. Now, you might rationalize it to say, well, this happened really before I took her serious. And that's an actual thing, right? So you might rationalize that. But the caring part, that's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible to say you don't care. 
You get what I mean? So I do believe Adam Kerr, but um, to his point, um, maybe it is possible, right? And y'all might think I'm contradicting myself. Maybe it's possible that he did not, um, maybe it's possible that he did not actively try to take it out on house phone though, right? So maybe he did care, you know, a little bit. You know, and that's probably a personal issue between him and his girl. Like, him and his girl probably got to have that conversation. Like, damn, yo, you met me. We fucked. Why did you fuck my friend? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, if you met me and my friend and we fucked, why the fuck did you fuck my friend? And I would imagine that that personal conversation has been taken care of, clearly, because Adam's doing all the talking for for his situation. So I don't think that's an issue to him anymore. And I would assume that Adam, who's sitting here, wouldn't be harboring any type of, you know, resentment towards house phone because I know these situations, too. I know how these situations go. And I guarantee, you know, house phone probably going to talk about it, too. But I, I know how these situations go. You want me to tell you I go? House phone literally tells Adam, yo, remember that? Remember that? Again, I don't want to call it out of her name, but back then she probably was just hanging around with people. Yo, remember that shorty that you hung out with? She want to hang out with me too. Are you like, yo, everything good? Like, blah, blah. I guarantee Adam gave the blessing. Like, yo, bro, go ahead. Do your thing. I have to assume that. And I also have to assume that because at the time, Adam was appearing with her in certain streams. And, you know what I mean? Not only when it came to me, other people, he talked about certain shit. Like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, he, he wasn't that, oh, this is my wife. Now, it's different because that's his wife. But um, at this point, I guarantee he probably gave his blessing, right? So at that point, you can't hold it against You can't get, like, I have a couple of my niggas, right, who will tell me, I'll ask him about a girl, yo, yo, what's up with her? And he know he liked this girl crazy, but he's trying to seem like a G. I hate these type of niggas. And he'd be like, nah, nah, you can go, you can go fuck her, I don't care. I'm like, you sure, dog? Like, if you like her, I won't, I won't try, I won't even try. Nah, go ahead. Now nah, after I done punched dick in her stomach, you feel me? Donkey fucked her. Every time I see him and the light hit him, his fucking eyes are watery. You know what I mean? So I hate people like that, but I don't think that's what Adam is. I, you know, I think Adam gave the blessing. It is what it is. But I will say this, though. This conversation um, continually coming up, you know, they're at a different point of their life. You know what I mean? They probably just don't want to deal with that. So if you ask me, I think Adam does care. Also, but, but but two things could be true. I would hope he didn't take it out on house phone. And um, life goes on. Like, he's, he has a child and he's getting married. Like, what do you want to do? It is what it is. Somebody said what? Oh, it's two, 251? 250. Yo, I ain't going to lie. Yo, my chat nigga is the best in the world. 251. 251. Here you go. By the way, oh, oh let me give no jumper. The the um and I think I'll tell Adam this too. Hey, when I walked into this bitch, it was me, boom, and one of my men with them things. After I see how y'all niggas giving up at no jumper. I will never return back to no jumper unless I got 10 niggas with straight ARs outside. Y'all niggas on too much fuck shit. And when I go there, no nigga ain't playing with me. That's a fact. So I'm going to tell y'all, like, it ain't no possible. Like, no jumper is the hood to me. Like, nigga, I don't even go to the hood now. So if I'm going back to no jumper, I don't trust. Let me tell you this. Uh, good luck to the guests that go there. I don't trust them niggas with my safety. I, I fuck with AD, but listen, AD, you and them Crips care about you, nigga. I need some niggas who know if 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 a hot breath get blown on Big Ack, spray the entire place. Just spray. Everybody getting shot. Legos, 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 Legos. Everybody get a Legos. I kid you not. Next time I go, to, nigga. The next time I go to no jumper, I gotta have that bitch surrounded for my own security. <laughs> I walked into No Jumper. I remember I'm dapping people up. They be like, yo, hey, yo, this is the OG over there. I'm like, what the fuck is the OG doing in the content studio? I bet. All right, what up, OG? I see you, dog. Say, yo, that nigga right there, like, yo, he like OG, triple OG, triple OG, triple OG, big crip. Oh, all right, bet, bro. I, what up, nigga? Like, what's up? <laughs> now, granted, 
You know how I get down. Once I'm on camera, I don't give a fuck. So I don't care what's in the background. I'm going off. You know I mean, I'm doing me. But <laughs> after I seen a couple of niggas get snuffed out, cars get stolen outside, all type of shit. I'm going back to, uh oh, I'm, I've rescheduled an L.A. trip. I've rescheduled I got to text Adam about that. I rescheduled an L.A. trip. I'm about to go, go out there. I'm going to definitely fuck with Adam. But trust me, we got to have that whole bitch surrounded. Facts. Facts. Too much fuck shit going on up there. Anyway, other than that, um, yeah. Nah, I, oh, let me play. Let me play. So uh, That's about the, I'm trying, to, Adam, I, want, I want Adam to get in a mindset that there's morals that trumps business. And he be just kind of Hey, let me just tell y'all this. You see how it was killing me when I went up there this time? Yo, act what you talking about. Yo, what are you talk? Listen how I'm talking. Morals that trumps business. You know, everybody was like, you know, this nigga act wildin'. What is he talking about? Yo, act's a hater. Okay, nigga. That's why when y'all, that's why, yo, there's a couple little, what they call them, rope gang. Yo, y'all rope gang fans, man. That's why I chat niggas step on y'all niggas when we want to. They be coming to me like, yo, could y'all help us act? Could y'all get Adam in line? Like, nigga, I got no beef with Adam. Nigga, y'all deal with your own fucking problems. The fuck, he ain't, ain't mess with me. Yo, the little no jumper fans running over here to me like, act, please. It seems like you're the only person he won't fuck with. Please help us. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas gonna handle y'all beef because when I was spinning like a tornado, y'all niggas was like, yo, this nigga's a hater. Hell no. <laughs> kind of entertain everything. And as black men, not off of like, you know, I know we got culture here and shit like that, yeah. whether, you know, you're born here. I want him to <laughs> kind of draw lines like, yo, that's my You gotta queen. be like, nah, that's fuck the that. My, like, that's uh, the mother of my child. Nigga, I don't, I wouldn't even I entertain that type of shit. That. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like anything, I don't really know that. Actually, I don't know at all. To, like everything that you guys have done, it's never know. been just for money. It's no, been no, you guys no. have been. They've been. She does OnlyFans. Get her out the paint. Get out of here, man. Nobody know you. Get out of here, man. You sucking cock on camera. They don't culture you talking about. You see, this is why I get I get real disrespectful when I'm at the table. Y'all talking about culture now, man. You suck cock. Get out of here. Let's talk business, man. Fuck is we doing, man? You can't, bitch. You in a boot cocky. You're in a bukkake. You can't, yo, stop playing with me, man. When I come up in a building, don't be bringing a thousand smuts. This bitch got three million semen swimming in her fucking trachea. Fuck that. Big Ack is here, nigga. Let's talk culture. Get the smut on out of here, man. Why do you want to do that? That's weird. I'm like, I don't want to. Hey, John, bitches together. Well, yeah, so you know, they loved everything that you. They you, said, done. you said you even brought it up to her, and she was like, yo, what's wrong with you for even thinking that? Here we go. Here we go. You know, I got to, like, set the table, man. What's going on out here, bro? Bruv. So uh, That's I'm I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I want Adam to get in a mindset that there's morals that trumps business. And he be just kind of entertaining everything. And as black men, not off of like, you know, I know we got culture here and shit like that, yeah. whether, you know, you. Yo, t Rill over here looking at me like, yo, this nigga, I don't know what he talking about. Today, t Rill probably looking up like, yo, this nigga was right. <laughs> yo, t Rill, I only came to give y'all game, baby. And I don't think my nigga Adam is a bad, is a bad guy at all. So don't, like, y'all niggas cannot make this me versus Adam. But there was a, you know what I mean? You have to be considerate. Shit, I've had to learn sometimes to be considerate. Yo, these days, I be in a conflict. And I'm going to tell y'all later, like, I be in conflict of shit in terms of running stuff. Because once you're in this game long enough, you realize what you could put out. Like, for example, even with the gunner shit, you know how many people hit me? Nigga, that's, I think that's a YouTuber trying to go viral, my nigga. Like, your gunner got ran on out the mall. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about it. They wanted me to put it out like it was real. Bro, this shit look fake as hell, nigga. Now I could just be like, yo, if I say it's real, niggas going to run with it. Bro, we got to have a little integrity in this shit. You know what I mean? And, and trust me, integrity always got to trump business because credibility matters. You born here? I want him to kind of draw lines, like yo. That's my you gotta queen. be like, nah, that's fuck the that. Like, uh, that's the mother of my child, nigga. I don't. I wouldn't even entertain that type of shit. That. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like anything, I don't really know that. Would be Actually, I don't know at all. To, like everything that you guys have done, no, it's no, never no. been just for money. It's no, been no, you guys no. have been. They've been comfortable.
She's sucking cock on camera, getting bukkakis, nigga, getting trains, all type of, nigga, getting all type of Amtrak's. This is the, this is, yeah, Adam, next time we get there, man, no more porn stars in the building when I'm there. I don't want to hear them chase. I got, like, she got hot breath, semen, like, you know what I mean? Like, ancestors of semen coming off of that. Nah, I don't want that. Nah, are we going to talk? Like, listen, y'all save, save that shit for plug talk, nigga. When I'm in the building, nigga, let's really talk about, like, the culture and the media atmosphere, bruh. So with everything they've done. Oh, yeah. So we love fucking bitches together. Of course. By the way, you know what's so funny? Her man was over on the corner. Her man was sitting on the couch over there while Adam was talking about punching dick in her stomach. And I'm looking at, I'm, sometimes he would say it, and I would look over my shoulder, like, and he would just have a giant smile on his face, like, craziest thing, nigga was black. I ain't gonna hold you. But I think he was pimping her. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, they loved everything you. You that they've she, done. You said you even brought it up to her, and she was like, Yo, what's wrong with you for even thinking that? You don't no, think there's she, something wrong with you? She said, what's up with even you? Even her bro? looking why at you, would you She goes, why would you tell Act that we had talked about it for like 30 seconds? You told me on the yeah. podcast. Six months ago. No, you told me on the podcast, though, that you um, uh, like you said it to her, and she was weirded out by the idea of you thinking about it, which means yeah, she, she, wasn't really she was side-eyeing you like, yo, what type of weird <laughs> shit this nigga who I done had a kid with, yeah. he put a, a ring on my finger, and he's still thinking about people fucking me? This nigga's weird. She thinks she said, I think you might be a little. Do you think you need, like, some, some, some you know, mental really health and shit? That for I'm in therapy. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I was on one when I went in this shit. Yo, yo boom, you, you around? You about to get in Discord. I don't know. I might have been. I know I was drinking before I got in there, but I came in on twelve. You know what it was? I think when I went in the building, like I dapped up so many niggas behind the scene. I'm like, nigga, I don't know if this is intimidation or what, but nigga, nigga, let your nuts hang, nigga. If you learn one thing from six nine, that's the time you get the loudest, nigga. When you in the lions, then fuck that, nigga. See, you're not in therapy. <laughs> no. Did she really say that for real? I think you That's what you told something. me on the podcast. No, 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 no. Did you hear what he she said? She said, I'm gay. No, no. I, was uh, I, thought, you was, I thought she said you really But she said did. That. She said, like. I ain't going to lie. You see, now in hindsight, <laughs> I can see I can see Adam side-eyeing this nigga like, what you asking me if my bitch asked me if I'm gay, nigga? Because you fucked her. Hold on, nigga. I can see that. I can see it now. Why do you want to do that? That's weird. I'm like, I don't want to do it. I was just like wondering what you thought. Yeah, like, what? what? Yeah, look, yeah, I, I think, think that's right a couple that's normal. normal. This is yeah. how I got to shut up. I start yeah. talking about his boss letting like somebody fuck his girl. We, and he's like, we know people who are swingers. He got to get on you. it. He, he got to get on you. I feel like, yeah, unless he did it, then you can... Hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 you consider, you okay, yeah. you consider swinging. Yeah, like you consider swinging if I bring a random hoe and I pulled up on y'all and I'm like... You are out of the question. Why? You are not invited to the party. Why don't I come? Like, wait, 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 wait. Would she prefer like a BBC if it was a swinger? Or I'm not really sure, but I mean, I, I, I definitely don't think that the, the academics work is gonna, be, is gonna cut it. Damn. Word. Yeah. Somebody. What house phone do? Your house phone was like, la yo, your house phone was in his bag right here. I saw this nigga too. I should have peeped it, nigga. I usually peep energy everywhere. In the comments said you was already on the hook. Can, can you get a boner and go in the bathroom and take a picture of it and show us? Oh, hey, yo. Just, I would love to know. Yo, you might have to wrap this up, man. <laughs> oh, you're, you're yo, this nigga's tweaking. Team's kicking you out because you're crossing the line again. Nah, man. Spotify's like... gonna pull you for talking that ivermectin <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I was on Spotify at that point still. Mm -mm. Spotify love me oh, for now. No, for, now. now. for now. They, they look at me and they'd be like, yo, damn, we could have got somebody better. Once they see that footage I got of you daggering bitches back in the day <laughs> in Jamaica, they're going to be like, no, he's out of here. Oh, no, they, they actually want to put that out on a special DVD. Really? Yeah. yeah. Spotify, Spotify puts out bullshit. DVDs now? Shit, they'll do it. Of you daggering? They'll <laughs> 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 do it. <laughs> but I love Spotify, man. Great people over there, man. Oh, okay, listen, yeah. listen, this I get it. I, I'm, I'm, done, I'm, I'm, done, I'm, done, I'm done talking about that particular thing. I just found it a little bit weird, but we can move on. I, By the I, way, Lena doesn't hate You're me. Right? In the I want to send love to she the beautiful Lena so and also the, your beautiful child, and I'll leave it at there. The overall message was that Adam's a fucking weirdo, okay? And we got to call out niggas like guy. this. No, you're too horny to be rich, okay? You you, you got the... You got the, the Y'all gave me the wrong time stamp. There's a time stamp. I was like, yo, would you let a house phone fuck your girl? I like, I, I only, I'm only bringing it up because I literally just didn't know. I didn't know. And I don't even think it's a, y'all gonna be honest with you. There's certain shit that used to like really matter back in the day, right? Like, yo, I still maintain, and shit, that's 
a lot of the reasons why me and Adam had problems. I've never dated Selena Powell ever, my nigga. I've never dated her. But we do live in an age where I think now, I don't think people would even have a... Bro, there's niggas wifeys on OnlyFans. There's niggas wifeys who are... Bro, Iggy Azalea, like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. Yo, I'm waiting for Iggy Azalea to, to, to post a squirt video. Y'all see them nips? Oh, lit. Iggy with the nips? Yo, Chroma's giving head. She's fingering herself now. Yo, Cro yo, I, I, I got Chroma's uh, I'm OnlyFans for free. That bitch, that bitch should have been done it a long time ago. She a little irrelevant now, but, but, but really... You know what I mean? She going extra and extra. Soon you're going to see like three Toronto rappers running the train on her. All I'm trying to say is that for everything that people used to shame certain women about, like say Superhead, let's say like Cat Stack, say Selena. Bro, there's women doing it now and nobody batting an eye. Nobody bats a fucking eye. Like most of these artists, like Erica Banks just announced, I don't even know if I can show, but Erica Banks just announced that she's on OnlyFans. Like, remember Erica Banks, who was dating Finesse two times? She signed to the same label as Magna Stallion. She announced that she's on OnlyFans, dog. Like, just literally, bro. Like, people don't care like that no more. So it's like, yes, I could make it a thing if I really didn't like Adam or whatever the case is. But, like, bro, I really don't think that people even care about even this type of shit, right? Yo. Like, in regular people world, maybe. But they live in porno land. Listen, there might be a lot of mystery in Lena's history, but it is what it is, bro. Just got to get over it. So I ain't tripping over it, man. Um, salute to Adam for at least admitting your truth. And I'm going to be honest, my whole takeaway is hopefully you're in the house phone. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk to house phone. I would say to him, your house phone, I, I know them revealing the fact that like you like transgenders, you know, wasn't in the cards, but shit. You took a personal hit, but Adam did too. Like some people are gonna clown him for the fact that his his wife hooked up with you. So hopefully, like if you guys end up being back together, you you forgive him. You know what I mean? You got embarrassed, but he got embarrassed too. Call it squits, bro. Like don't don't you know what I mean? I'm used to the core of no jumper, so hopefully you don't leave, brother. Anyway, um, shit. Oh, hey, can I give y'all a real a, a real quick update? I ain't gonna lie to you, man. <laughs> 